Glamers, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Camper Bay. We have an issue with our water heater. It's not heating on electric. So I believe the electric element's out and it's all our fault. We got way too in a hurry uh, for one camping weekend, filled up the tank with water, didn't switch our Nautilus system back to dry camping because we were dry camping. We got to our campsite, we're enjoying ourselves, had the water heater, electric running, and there was no water in the water tank because it would, didn't fill the tank itself. So I'm assuming that we, we burnt up our, our element. So I ordered a, an element and we're gonna go ahead and change that. So what are we gonna need to do that? Well, of course, first of all, you're gonna need an element, heating element, and I ordered a tool like this to help remove it from the, the uh, heater itself and install it. See, it's got holes in it right here. So I can use a really big uh, screwdriver to kind of crank on it. And then you're gonna need a Phillips tip and a flathead. So with all that said, let's just get at it. So our heating element is right here. Let me get you guys a little bit closer. Our heating element is right behind this little guy here. So. We've got one, two, three screws that we gotta take out, pull that off, and then we should just be able to unscrew the heating element. But first, we have to drain it. So it's a 10 gallon water heater. I've got my tote right down there. I've got my breaker bar and my socket to remove my anode rod here. So we're gonna do that, and then we'll pop this to let the pressure out. All right, so we're all drained. Now we can go ahead and start removing this cover with our flat tip screwdriver. Probably important to let you know to make sure the power's off. Got the cover off. All right, so as you can see, here's my element. It's got a black and a white wire going in with just two screws. We're gonna take those off. I didn't have to take the screw all the way out. That's okay. All right, so now we got that undone. Now, as you see, I had to get that tool because I just can't get a hold of that and loosen that up. So we're gonna use that right now. The whole point of this tool is because this is uh, very tight right here. So I'm gonna get this in there on that so I can use this to crank it. I just have to get it on. Uh, it came out easy. I didn't even need to crank on it. So now it's just a matter of taking it out. There you go. We're going to replace it right now. Got our new one. I am going to tighten this one down with the tool just to know I've got a good seal. I won't go too tight. It's got a gasket on it. There we go. And as far as the heating elements, it doesn't matter, or the black and white, it doesn't matter which one you put them on. Now I'm going to put them back pretty close to where they came. It's really tight quarters here. So get that on and we'll tighten it back up. My flat tip screwdriver here. Now the key is to make sure this harness is down in there too.
All right, now we're gonna fill up our tanks. Then I'm gonna check, because we had a water leak behind here also, and I fixed those, I think. So I'm gonna check when we're done. I'm gonna switch it back over to city water, make sure it's not leaking. I think we're good. Hey, it's later in the afternoon. I just finished uh, putting in the new heating element for the water heater, and we do have hot water, so it's working just fine. I just wanted to give you that update real quick. Happy glamping.